do you think? Good. What's going on everybody? It's Sunday, January 20th, 2019. We're out running some errands for the day, getting soaking up a little bit of sunshine. It's still cold as heck out, but the sun is shining. So we uh, got the truck again. We're gonna make a trip over to the storage locker, and I found my old remote control car setup, and all that I can remember from it was that it's uh, busted or broke. So I know the uh, output shaft on the motor. Um, pulled out completely or broke. I think it was a, a, ma a Mamba, Mamba motor. So we're gonna bring it, we're gonna go to the hobby shop, show them what I got. Not to the Hobby Lobby? Not to Hobby Lobby, to, it's called Leisure Hours Hobby Shop. And we're going to Thank see you. what, uh, what it'll cost. Hobby Lobby! Hobby Lobby's closed on Sundays. But uh, we're gonna see what it takes to fix this thing, if, if it's worth it money-wise or not. Um, they sell all kinds of like Chinese motors for like 20, 30 bucks online, but uh, I don't know. I wanna see what they got. All right, so we brought the remote control truck over to the hobby shop and they got me all set up. So I got a new motor. I got um, some spur gears, I got a new pinion gear, uh, and they set me up with uh, some new age charging technology. So I just had to call them because I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, okay, so they got me this. This is the LiPo charger. I did have LiPo stuff, but my batteries were so old that like one was leaking uh, liquid out of it, and the other one was completely dead. So they gave me a new battery, new charger, and I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. I didn't know I needed to plug this special cable. This is the balance lead into the charger. So I only have these connections plugged in. So um, the black goes to the negative. Um, this is it. It's a Profit P1 Mini. And right now it's charging. It's making all kinds of noise. But uh, it's, it's a two cell battery. I don't know if that is even going to show up. It's set for two amps, which is 2,000 milliamps. Um, currently at 7.97 volts. I think that's how much it's outputting. And then this is how long it's been going for. So it's been charging for three and a half minutes and it's applied uh, 118 milliamps. Um, this is the voltage per cell right now. And it's going to go to end voltage 8.4 volts. So pretty cool stuff. They give you, or I, I had to buy it, but I got this bag, and it's just good, good uh, practice. But I'm gonna put the battery in the bag when it's charging. If this thing um, were to ignite or explode or anything, the bag would contain it. It's basically a fireproof bag. So I was reading through all these uh, things, and I couldn't get it to start because I didn't have this set up or plugged in. So. It should be good now. I'm gonna let it run and do its thing. He said it might take like an hour or so. I still gotta fix the truck itself. I gotta build it and whatever. And that's not gonna happen uh, today, I don't think. We got, we went and stopped and picked up tons of stuff from the storage locker that I gotta go through. So it's just a mess. But uh, I am making a huge dent in the storage locker. I've um, been basically pulling out all my stuff. So what I want to have, my goal is to have just like empty boxes for my camera gear and tools. That's my goal. And that would be all that I want to have um, left over or sitting in the storage locker. Um, from there, um, I'm going to either move to a different one that's like a lot cheaper or move to a different one that's also smaller and a lot cheaper or... Um, I don't know. I want to cut down my costs. They keep raising it like quarterly. It's like almost $220 now. So I think it was like half that when I started. Uh, yeah, so it's just been working on that. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Uh, gotta get this battery in a fireproof bag. So. <laughs> 